welcome to my food is made with love i'm lolly and today i am going to be making chicken fried mushrooms i'm using baby bellas these are the ones that i prefer um i would imagine you could just use um plain old white mushrooms if you choose to do so and uh, i just want to set up and show you guys what i have before i go wash or clean my mushrooms um I am vegetarian, but I'm also going to be showing you guys a vegan method or plant-based method, whichever you prefer, uh, to doing your chicken fried mushrooms. I like to do an egg wash, so that's why I have my egg beaters here because I like to do an egg wash. However, if you are um, vegan, plant-based, you don't necessarily need the eggs for, the, for it to coat. Uh, so I do have another suggestion that you can do. It will look slightly different from mine. I think that the, this way gives it a more golden, brown, evenly distributed, nice, beautiful, beautiful look and crunchier to the texture. So I do like that method better. Um, but you can actually just take like a cup of, um, of your plant-based milk and whisk in some like a, a tablespoon of flour or cornstarch and mix it in and you can use that as your base um, to do that if you have any other um, substitutions maybe some aquafaba I don't I don't use any of these things so I'm just going to stick to what I know I also do it with cornstarch or flour um, put it in some milk I thicken it up and then um, use it as my quote-unquote egg wash I mean not egg wash is it called egg wash no batter there we go, batter. Um, so let me just show you what I have here. I fry it just the same way as I used to fry chicken or my husband is still a uh, carnivorous. So every blue moon, he'll have me fry him some chicken. And so I make these mushrooms the same exact way because I used to love my fried chicken. So I use mustard and you're gonna be like, what? Some of y'all like, what? Some of y'all know um, mustard. Um, what I was taught is mustard makes your um, at the time chicken not so bland um, even if you season it the mustard gives it a different kick and I find that to be very true with the mushrooms because mushrooms are good at absorbing a lot of flavor um, I also have salt pepper thyme sometimes I like to use oregano too I like oregano and thyme in my um, seasonings onion garlic powder paprika salt pepper and um, that I am Keep going to start off by Prepping my mushrooms. I am probably going to go ahead and fry this whole thing. I really don't want to. Maybe half. No, I'm going to fry the whole thing, okay? Uh, <laughs> what I'm going to do is mushrooms, you can't just like soak them in water because like I said, they're very absorbent. So you're going to want to um, get a damp cloth or paper towel and basically wipe down each mushroom. I know it sounds um, tiring, it is but it's worth it. And you gotta remember this stuff comes fresh out of the dirt. Unless you want some dirt, you want some muddy, uh, muddy bites, you gotta go ahead and clean this. Oops, today. So you're gonna get, um, you can use a little bit of water, paper towel, I use a paper towel or like a microfiber cloth, something um, really fine and just wipe it, wipe it, wipe it. And then I'm gonna toss it into one of these bowls. Now I'm gonna have one bowl for seasoning, one bowl for the flour, and then one bowl for um, the batter, the batter. Now, is that called batter? I don't know what it's called. I can't, for some reason I can't even think of it, but I'm gonna do that. And you'll see what I'm gonna do, um, how I'm gonna organize this in a second. If you don't know how to, if you're new to frying um, chicken fried food or frying food period, and you're you know, a beginner cook or whatever, um, I'm gonna break down everything, okay? So no worries there. So I'm gonna go ahead and prepare this. And then uh, once I get back, uh, we'll be ready to go. And actually, while I'm doing that, I'm going to turn my oil on. See, I'm using vegetable oil, but I'm going to use some uh, dirty oil, oil that I've already used uh, once before because it, to me, it adds more flavor. But I'm using vegetable oil. I'm sure you could probably fry it in canola, but I use vegetable. Um, if you have a frying oil of your choice, use it. That's fine with me. And um, so I'm going to put my stuff on right now so that by the time I'm done doing everything, that oil is going to be nice, hot, and ready for me, okay? All right, give me a second. I'll be right back. <laughs>
so let's prepare. Actually, I'm gonna do the seasoning first so that it can marinate into the mushrooms. Uh, okay, so I'm going to use, hey, you can use regular mustard if you wanna do the mustard. You don't have to use mustard at all, but I use spicy mustard. And I'm just using enough to coat all the mushrooms. So I don't know, I end up using maybe like an eighth to a fourth cup. I don't really like to measure um, in this instance. And even the seasons, I'm not gonna be measuring, guys. You're just gonna have to figure that out. Um, I can give you a eyeball of how much I'm using, but um, you really want a seasoned towel you wanna eat your food. All right, that's more than enough mustard here. So just give me a little look-see, okay? I'm gonna add my seasons in here. I use a pepper medley, okay? So I've already cracked it. So I have lots of pepper. That's about hmm, a tea, teaspoon or two of pepper. I happen to like pepper a lot. And then uh, a little bit of thyme. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna leave the thyme mostly for for um, the flour. So I like a little bit of seasoning in my flour too. Not so much the seasoning, but the flavor because I'm not gonna put too much salt in here because I'm gonna put salt in here and in there and it has the mustard. So, you know, it's gonna have a little balance. I'm gonna use about a teaspoon of onion powder. Same with the paprika. Half a teaspoon to a teaspoon, that's how much I use. And I, I want you guys to know I have my, this oil's actually done, but I have my oil heating up uh, on medium for the past few minutes. Is this not open yet? All right, so the same with the garlic powder. Here's a, here's a good thing about using mushrooms um, and if you're trying to find your balance of your seasonings. Um, you could just taste it. This is not raw meat, it's vegetables and seasonings. You could eat it. So you could just taste to see where you're at and then um, see if that's how you want your stuff to taste. Now you have to massage this all this seasonings into these mushrooms. Now, be gentle, okay? But get it in there. Get it in. Because what happens is, if you're not too gentle, you start to pop off pieces and stuff like that. You don't want all that. You just want everything to be evenly distributed as much as you can. And then, you know, you have some live action. And you can take a little piece, say like this little piece right here. Okay? And see if that's how you want your stuff to taste. And that's how I want my stuff to taste. Huh? Hmm. All right, okay. I'm gonna wash my hands and then we're gonna get go back in there. Then we're gonna start the flour. Now we're gonna do our flour. I'm gonna get about, because I have so much, maybe a cup and a half of flour. Oh, please turn this on the outside of the bowl. Got a little moisture here. I'm gonna get about a cup and a half of the flour. Okay, that should be good. And then I'm gonna season my flour too. I've I've added the I like oregano in mine, so I'm gonna add some oregano and more garlic powder. A little more pepper. I put a lot of pepper in my um, mix. A little more. So a little bit more pepper. Not a lot in this case. You don't have to put a lot of everything in the flour because you've already seasoned that. A little salt. And so what I'm going to do now is whisk it around. 
to make sure everything blends evenly. You can see. You can see the dried herbs in there. It looks real nice. And then we're going to do this for the egg. Now this thing says a fourth cup is equal to a large egg. And two, a half cup is equal to two large eggs. So I'm going to pour about a half cup because I want it to be quite thick. And about one cup of almond milk. I know you're like, okay, you're a vegetarian. Why don't you have real milk? We don't drink real milk because we just don't. My kids are like this intolerant, so we always have plant-based milk um, available, whether it be coconut, cashew, or almond. That's what we do. So, there's that. Now, I'm using egg whites because that's what that's what this is basically and and so it's not going to be as thick if, if I, as if i'm using um regular eggs so you're going to have a little bit of thicker which is good if it's a little bit thicker it's good for you um not good for you but it's good for your for your mix so um so that's that oh i didn't have my time in there what am i thinking why don't let me do that my time in there y'all saw me not adding that you gotta have some time all right mix that around up in there a little bit okay so then i'm going to put my seasonings and things where that i'm not using so i'll have more space okay so here goes the order of operations I take my seasoned mushroom dip it in the egg mixture shake a little bit put it in the flour cover it there goes that okay and you just repeat the process i'm going to put a few of them in here and then I'm going to change angles with the camera so that you can see, um, you can get a look at um, how it looks while it's frying and what have you. So I'm going to take a few of them at a time, do that same, repeat that same process, dip them in there, throw them in the flour, dip it in there. And if you have like a bag, you can use a bag, you know, you know, you know how you shake your chicken in the bag and um, do it that way. This better. I just happen to like to use my bowls. I don't got a lot of bags. And just make sure everything is covered. Time I shake my bowls up. I put the tops on my bowls and shake them, shake them, shake them. So I ain't got to worry about too much of flipping them around. But for the sake of this, I'm going to just show you guys what it looks like. So everything's coated and covered. I'm going to go ahead and add these in the oil. I'm going to change the camera position. I'm going to get a little bit more um, in the flour and all that. All right, guys. Okay. Um, so I'm trying to give you guys a better position. I hope this is good. Um, just to let you know, I have my strainer here. And I put paper towel on the inside so that I can get most of the oil off of the mushrooms. And I have a plate underneath to catch that oil. You don't want a whole, whole situation. It ain't worth it. So I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of these mushrooms in here. And the thing about mushrooms, they're going to float to the top because they're mushrooms. And so you have to actually go in and flip them. And I'm using this right here. It has these holes in it to help, you know, uh, strain some of that. But you actually got to go through and flip because they're going to just go to the top. Okay. And mushrooms have a lot of moisture. So what you're going to find is if you're not frying them long enough, and I'm actually going to time, I'm putting it in here right now, okay? So I'm going to time it to see how long it takes for me to feel like, okay, it's extra crispy. If you don't take them, if you take them out too soon, what's going to happen is they're going to be extremely moist and that crispiness is going to leave. Y'all, excuse my shirt. I got a baby. I got four babies. And this is baby food. Excuse that. But anyway, um, <laughs> you're going to realize that um, they're not crispy enough. And you're going to put them in here to, to strain and drain. And then it's going to be like, oh, they're soft now. So you want them to fry for a while. I'm going to go ahead and put more inside my bowl because I have plenty of space in here for these. I'm going to put more in here, and I'm actually going to shake them with my top on, like I was telling you. I'm 
I'm going to like pour the five at a time. And I'm just going to shake, shake, shake. I'm going to continue this process and um, just wait for them to, to get really crispy. That's all I'm waiting on. And I'm waiting for, you hear the, the oil? you got to wait for that oil to die down. That lets you know how much moisture is inside of these skills. So you want some of that, you want the oil to simmer down. That's how you know, okay, these might be close to being finished. So, a couple more. All right, so you can see it cooking up, cooking up. They're already getting kind of brown, which is a good sign. It looks, you can tell that that season, they look well seasoned. You can see the season through the flour and all that jazz. I'm about to go through and flip some of these because um, you don't want to flip too many times, but I'm just going to do it so that you can kind of see what you have to do. So you can see some of these mushrooms. You just want to just turn it around so that both sides can cook because only one side is going to cook if you don't do nothing about it. Okay, go through and flip. And if you see that one side is extra golden brown and the other side isn't, you're going to just want to go ahead and flip it again, okay? And that's that. I'm going to start cleaning up some of this filth and uh, get on to the next uh, phase. All right, so the grease has actually died down a bit. It has been exactly um, 14 minutes. So this is what it looks like. Oopsie, don't want to splash it in my face, Lord. So this is what it looks like. It looks very um, golden brown. I'm just gonna give it a little try to see. The see, this is a little soft right there. I'm put that back in there. I'm gonna try one of them to see the hardness of it. And just to make sure, you could actually kind of like tap them and feel how hard they are. And again, you see how I'm moving it and some of them are like still rousing up the grease. I mean, some of them got a little more work to do. And I can see which ones they are because you can see which ones are um, really popping. So you just flip those until they're done doing all that. This one I want to flip to save my life. Yeah, that one's done. Some of these are done. The ones that are done, I'm just gonna go ahead and take out. Keep in mind, I'll put a couple of these in at different times, really. And this one needs to be done. Everything is nice and brown and golden. That's really good. So I'm moving this stuff around. It's not causing much havoc no more. Whatever was going on in there, either I took it out. This is the one. Let's see, one of this one right here in particular. Got a little moisture in that stem. Get that moisture up out of here. I'm gonna try one of these and um, let it cool off a little bit. Try one and let you guys know how it tastes. In the meantime, I'm gonna add a few more in the oil. If I have that's like half a pound I just cooked, so I got another half to do. So wait for that stuff to cool and I'm gonna switch it out. So I put more in here and I just took a bite of one of the mushrooms. I have a good crisp on it. Um, good flavor. Real good flavor. Sorry, guys. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Let me unsize this mushroom. And yeah, it's really good. Real good. I'm basically just waiting for the rest of them. I waiting for the rest of them to finish. And then I'll give you guys the full view of the end results. All right, so this is the finished product. My kids have their plates made. They're ready to eat. Uh, we're having some yams and cornbread and some um, broccoli, garlic, broccoli. And they're having some vegan mac and cheese uh, with this. So we're happy. Look at that. You hear that crunch? 
I really hope you guys enjoyed my video. I hope that it was informative. I hope it gave you a new idea of what to do with your mushrooms. I hope that it, uh, if you're having any uh, cravings for fried chicken, I hope that it helps you fulfill that craving because actually that's kind of what I'm having tonight. Um, I haven't had fried chicken in a very long time, but for some reason that's been on my mind. So this is what I do when I get a little urge. I don't swerve, I stay in my lane, and I make a vegetarian version. <laughs> All right, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, let me know what you think in the comments, and I hope to have a new video for you soon.